Wow, this is huge. There was a verdict against the National Association of Realtors out of the US regarding their compensation model. Plaintiffs contend that commission rates are too high and buyers brokers are overpaid. This could be the start of a big change even here in Canada. Watch the video and let me know what you think. All right, so what does the ruling mean for the industry at large and maybe what you pay for a home? Where do we go from here? Joining us now on set is Bess Friedman. She is the CEO of Brown Harris Stevens and a member of the National Association of Realtors and Michael Ketchmark, the lead attorney of that lawsuit representing 500,000 homeowners in Missouri. Bess and Michael, thank you for joining us here. Uh, first to you, uh, Michael, what what, what is... Big settlement here, 1.8, or verdict, I should say, $1.8 billion. First up, where does that money go? Is, is money going to be kicked back to people who bought homes, or where? Sure. I mean, we view it as a day of accountability. And I told the jury, this case is simple. It comes down to premises I learned when I was in kindergarten. If you take something that doesn't belong to you, you give it back. The money will be returned to the homeowners that were the victims of this rigged system. It's been going on in our country for about 100 years, and it stops today. And, and we're going to hold these um, th these corporate real estate companies and National Association of Realtors accountable for their conduct. And I understand you are ready or have already filed more lawsuits? Yeah, the day that the, the minute that that verdict was was came in, we, we filed the lawsuit against the National Association of Realtors and these other large corporate real estate companies to bring the same relief nationwide. And we expect the damages, damages in those cases to be in excess of $100 billion. And look, we are wasting right now about $50 billion a year in wealth that's being taken out of the pockets of homeowners and transferred over to these corporate machines that have taken over real estate. And it's got to stop. Corporate. The National Association of Realtors takes in almost a quarter of a billion dollars in fees from local real estate agents because they have a stranglehold on the market. And, and that's okay, Michael, but best, that, that's. That's the NA. He's talking about the NAR, National Associate Realtors, am, which I, you are a member. Yep. But, you know, cor are you a corporate machine? No, we are not. And I can't comment on the lawsuit because it was in Missouri, so I'm not going to talk about that. But what I can say is that the majority of all real estate transactions are done with two agents, a buyer's agent and a seller's agent. And what is being said, I think, is completely untrue. It takes away from the fact that the buyer's agent adds incredible value to the transaction. And so I think the narrative out there, the Wall Street Journal had an article where they refer to NAR as a cartel. It's ridiculous. And I think there's hardworking agents who are out there representing buyers every day. And this totally takes away from that. And I think it's unfortunate. It's the wrong narrative. Because we work together. It's cooperation. You get the best price when everybody works together. And I'm sure, best that there's people that obviously you're selling a home. You'd like to pay as little as you could. I mean, everybody wants to pay as little as they can for everything across whatever the asset class is. That's for right. most people, including myself, I will never buy anything more expensive than my home. This is the most important and complex financial that's transaction right. that most of us will 100%. ever, ever go through. That's right. And that's why, you know, you, you have someone, if you're selling your home, you hire someone to represent you. They're your fiduciary. And also buyers want somebody to represent them, to talk to them about the pros and the cons, the neighborhood, you know, their financing, everything. Yeah. So you want to have two people, just like you would in a divorce, you want to have two people on the side of the transaction. It's the well, same. hopefully this is more of a marriage <laughs> than a divorce. Bez. But it can be a divorce. You know, so, so, Michael, is your beef with the, 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 the NAR? Is it with the compensation structure? Is do you think that, and we've talked before, that there shouldn't be a buyer's agent, or if they do, the buyer's agent should not be paid by the seller because that may be the conflict, and maybe if you're a buyer, you actually pay your buyer's right. agent. We got nothing against buyer's agents. I think they're awesome. But who the person they should pay for is the person they're working for. With this member of the National Association of Realtors, she just gave away the case. She said, you have competitors who are working together. They're colluding together to fix the prices at 6%. I mean, that's what's happening. That's what the jury heard two weeks of evidence of. We revealed the documents. We revealed the videotapes. We revealed all of the emails. And, and the, the CEO of, of the NAR testified at trial and took the stand and we exposed him for what he is. It is a cartel. It's a cartel. It is that not is a cartel. I really I take offense at that. It is not a cartel. Well, I'm, I'm sure you do. And I take offense at the fact well, that the NAR... Well, because you're... Listen, in Brooklyn for a long time, there was no co-broking. And you know what the, that the, does? A disservice 
to the consumer. What you're saying is why, really why offensive. In the and I take, of America are commissions it is two not a cartel. Five. I'm just telling you it is not a cartel. Can you answer this question for me? Yes. Why are the commissions in the United States two to three times higher than the rest of the industrial Listen, all, com all commissions are negotiable. Own, you can negotiate own? them at any time. There's you nothing written in anything. stone. The, the, the jury heard videotape evidence that they negotiate from 6%, but they only go up. 